See when you come over You're still feeling hazy, I'm lazy, let's stay in until it's over Hello everyone John here and welcome back to another video Now today's video is going to be on what our parents think we're doing Versus what we're actually doing part 2 Yes you lot smashed 160,000 likes on part 1 And also smashed 2 million views So it'd be rude not to do a part 2 do you know what I mean? I think that's the most likes I've ever got on a video on my entire channel 160k that's fucking mad Nevertheless, before we get this video, consider we hit 160,000 likes on part one. Let's see if we can smash 40,000 likes in the video, yeah? Smash that like button right now. Let's see if we can smash 40,000 likes or even exceed it. But yeah, smash the like button and see if we can get 40k. Be much appreciated. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Right, so the first thing I want to talk about what our parents think we're doing versus what we're actually doing is when we say we're staying at our friend's house, aka you're going to meet a bird. I'm sure each and every one of you has used this excuse. When you're going to meet a girl or boy you're chatting to and you're staying at the house, but you don't really want your mum and dad to find out, so you just say, I'm staying at my friend's. I'd say about 60% of the time this works. Most of the time your mum and dad just go, oh, can I speak to their mum then? But it does work, I've used this and it's worked, so, you know, it does work. Smash the like button right now if you ever lied to your mum and dad about staying at a friend's house and really you're going to meet a girl or boy. Oh yes, well I did see that the other day as it happens. Mum, I'm going around Bradley's for the night if that's alright. Yes, of course it is, darling. Does Janice know you're staying? Yeah, he's already asked her, so don't worry, you don't need to. Okay, Bobby, have a good time. Will do, Mum, see you later. <sighs> That's my night sorted, Dawn. Might get a bottle of wine. Oh, check you out. Where's Bobby off to then? He's staying at his friend's house. Oh, really? What's his mum saying? Is she alright with it? Nah, he stays at Bradley's all the time and I'm good friends with Janice, so it's alright. I don't need to ask. Where's this girl, man? Yo, yo, bro, what are you saying? You coming on FIFA? Nah, mate, I can't. I'm meeting some bird. I swear. Who's that? That chick you was talking to from Insta? Yeah man, she's let me stay around on that. No way, that's a sick bruv. I'm guessing you finally FaceTimed her then? No, why? Oh, well at least tell me you've Snapchatted her. No, I told you, she doesn't use Snapchat. What? <sighs> bruv, she's catfishing you. What? Don't be ridiculous bruv, she wouldn't do that. Bruv, I'm telling you now, the bird you're meeting is probably some fat, ugly psychopath and you've fallen for her trick. What do you know, bruv? And besides, even if she does look a bit different, she's still keen enough for a shag, so I ain't complaining. Haha, <laughs> fair enough. Alright, I'll catch you in a bit. Sweet. Oh, by the way, I told my mum I'm staying at yours. What? <laughs> Alright, man, whatever. I'll just cover for you. Laters. Sweet. Hi there. You alright? Shall we be off then? Sorry? Bobby, right? You said you would meet me here? <sighs> You've got to be joking me. Um, I'm guessing you're Bella then. Indeed I am, child. Uh -huh. Right, you see, the thing is, you look absolutely nothing like your profile picture. What? Don't be ridiculous. I've only touched up slightly. You know how us ladies are with editing. Uh -huh. No, you fucking haven't. That ain't you. Of course it is. I took that picture this morning. No, Look, I've got to go. But don't you want me to suck your cock dry? Ha <laughs> ha. Mm, not really. Look, I'm sorry you're insecure and whatnot, but you can't do this to people. It ain't fair. I'm gone. <sighs> Where do you think you're going, child? What are you doing? Get off of me! What about when you told me you wanted to taste my pussy all night? Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, that was before you lied about what you look like. Why are you so strong for a woman? I don't get it. Get off! What the fuck? Who are you? Oh, I think we've already discussed who I am, child. Now then, let me taste your spunk. Listen, mate, I don't know what the fuck you got going on here, but I ain't into this shit. Just, just leave me alone. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. You're coming with me, child. Whether you like it or not, huh? Am I fuck? You touch me and I'm gonna call the police right now for kidnapping and identity theft. Now, now. You won't do that, will you, child? Yeah, I will. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Because if you do that, I'll leak all the pictures of your cock you sent me, huh? 
What? That's right. <laughs> and whilst I'm at it, I might even release the videos of you fingering your asshole. <laughs> uh, 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 oh yes, we got very dirty over text, didn't we, child? Very steamy indeed. Oh. Now then, why don't you hop into my van and we can have some real fun, huh? Right now, the next thing I want to talk about what our parents were doing versus what we're actually doing is for the 17 year olds and above, yeah? For the drivers. Now, 90% of us, when we first pass our test, we're like responsible drivers, yeah? We might speed a little bit, we might not be the best driver, but most of us drive responsibly. However, your parents think you're jumping in that car and just wanting to kill yourself. Literally, I think everyone's heard it from their mum and dad when they tell them, don't go speeding around the corners, don't get six of your friends in the car, your car can hold that. If it goes around the corner, it'll tip. Yeah, it won't. Why am I driving a fucking motorbike? But I do get it though, because you get that old prick in the 2003 kitted up BMW 1 series who thinks he's fucking Lewis Hamilton and he's putting him and all his mates' life at risk because he's hard. Like, since when was doing 90 in the 30s on cool? Just, what are you doing? Uh, um, gee, Mumsy, I've got some tersity news, fam. You never guess what just happened. What is it, darling? I've only gone and passed my driving test like a freaking boss ass bro. Oh my god, that's great news, Jack. I'm so proud of you. You should be, Mum G. Now I'm gonna be the littiest kid on the block, fam. Take a look at the whip that I've got. I know, I know the littiest on the block. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice song, honey. I know, right, my bros, G star. Hey, Mum G, is it okay if I take the new ride out for a spin? Of course it is, Jack. Just drive safely. Wow, fam. You're a toast awesome, G. Catch you on the flip side, bro. Have fun. <laughs> a few moments later. Right, first time driving by myself, G. Let's do a check. Seatbelt on. Check the mirrors. And away we go, fam. Damn, broski. You're one cool ass G for passing. Pat yourself on the old shoulder, Rooney. Hey, G. Am I speaking to the littiest G of the century? <laughs> How's the new hot ride, fam? Thanks for asking, my broski G star. It's only a Corsa, but it's freaking awesome, G. Feel like a real gangster when I'm at the wheel, fam. <laughs> oh, that sounds so lit, G. Dem. <laughs> Fancy picking me up and we go cruising like we're never losing, G. Oh, no can do, fam. I've really got a lot of gasoline, G. Anyways, I'm only coming out for a quick spin. Gonna head home soon, broski. Ah, oh, no way, G Star. Stop being such a boring ass bro. Sorry, G. I've got to be responsible with the new whip, fam. Maybe another day, bro. Uh, hey, Mum G. What's waiting for me to pull up on my sweet new ride? I should have known. Excuse me, Mum G. Joy ride in your car, eh? Oh my God, you could have killed yourself. What? No way was I, fam and am. I was driving like a normal ass bro. Don't you fucking lie to me. I can see your rims are all scratched. What's that from? Doing donuts on the motorway, was it? But, mom, bro, the rims already scratched when you bought the car. Check the eBay ad, fam. No, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Go on then, how many friends did you pile in there? Seven, eight, twenty? None, broski. I haven't said no to old Rossi where we'd ask me to pick him up, fam. Oh yeah? And how did Ross ask you then? Uh, he called me GD. Them. Duh. Oh, I knew it. Answering your phone while driving. You're a menace. No, fam. I'm not a freaking menace like Dennis G. I promise you, Mum. My car has a hands free set. Here, check. No. I'm sick of your lies. Good heavens. I can only begin to imagine what you got up to in that car. G, man. This is terse, Slitty, my bro. I can't believe you're finally whipping G. How fast are you going to go in this thing, fam? Oh, G. I could. Easily go over a hundred, fam. Give over, broski. You're seriously honking the goose's collar with that statement, fam. Oh yeah, G? Well, watch me do it in a 30 mile an hour zone, fam. <laughs> Look, there's an old man crossing the road innocently, G. Quick, let's put him over the bonnet, fam. <laughs> sure thing, broski. <laughs> what a freaking loser, bro. <laughs> I'll teach him to cross the road, fam. Oh, by the way, G, you don't happen to have any Cali on you, do you, bro? Of course I do, G. We gone smoke the herb, or we freaking deserve, G. Oh, uh, um, G, G, that's like totes awesome, man. Why don't we go to our old school and see if any of the chicas want to toke on the reefer? Frick me, man. That's such a good idea, G-Star. 
we could also take them to McDaniel's car park. Damn, bro, them. That sounds freaking out of this world, Jay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Let's get some chicas in this car. Gee, man, that song was hella fire, my bro. Cheers, broski. Hey, I've got a fun game. Let's take our seatbelts off and drive on the motorway really fast, fam. Let's do it, G. <laughs> what? I would never do that, man. Don't you lie to me, boy. My intuition is never wrong. And for that, I'm taking away the car. Oh, the vibe is so touched not let you right now, man. Frick. And last but not least, the thing that our parents think we're doing versus what we're actually doing is when you get in the toilet for a shit or a shower, anything which takes a bit of time. And if you're in there any longer than five minutes, your parents think you're doing one thing, but realistically, you're probably doing this. Richard, what do you think you're doing? What? To have a shit? No, you're not. I was about to go and have a shower. Oh, Mum, please. I'm busting. No, I don't want you stinking out the bathroom before I go and have a wash. Please, Mum. I'm literally going to shit myself. Oh, fine. Go on then, but make it quick. Cheers, Mum. Oh. 20 minutes later. Richard? Richard! What are you doing in there? You've been ages! Sorry mum, won't be a minute. Oh, well, hurry up, I've got somewhere to be. Let me just finish scrolling through Insta and done. Right, time to wipe. Oh shit, Johnny Kerry just uploaded. <sighs> mum can wait another 10. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. Let's see if we can smash 40,000 likes, like I said at the start. We smashed 160k on the first one. See if we can smash the like button on this one. Subscribe today to join the Kez Rami. And uh, yeah, goodbye. I'ma do shit to just piss them off. Say you never heard me, it's your loss. They